All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is, uh, What If Humans Were Nerfed? Uh, this is coming from the channel Tier Zoo. Let's go ahead and jump into it, guys. This episode was sponsored by Skillshare. Can you imagine that was your front Humans are the most overpowered class this game has ever seen. Brad move. Even builds with a near max power stat have little chance against a fully armed human. And conversely, even builds with the highest defensive stats in the game still can't block attacks from the ridiculously OP weapons humans unlocked via crafting. Right. The shifts in the meta reflect how overpowered they are. But what would happen if humans were nerfed? What if their intelligence stat Ooh, was that that based stat how is. overpowered they are? But what would- Oh... Guys, I'm gonna be honest. Um... I think we would still be OP. Like, even if you nerfed us, we would still be OP with these uh, these stats, guys. Uh, yeah, we have terrible stealth. We have terrible defense. Like, natural defense is terrible. Um, but our mobility and, and intelligence would be equal in this case. As a thought experiment, I do think that it's a solid one. Um, I think we would still be OP because we still have the ability to, uh, to, to learn and teach, guys. That in itself is... A superpower. What would happen if humans were nerfed? What if their intelligence stat was lowered back below the point where they gained the ability to make tools? Ooh. Which builds would become the new top tiers? Oh, okay, okay, and which okay. ones might actually- Okay, okay. We wouldn't make it. ...become less viable <laughs> without humans. Wow. Well, with their intelligence stat lowered, it's expected that humans would return to their playstyle as persistence hunters in the savanna. Even without advanced intelligence abilities like tool use and fire control, they would still excel at this because of their unique ability to regenerate stamina by sweating. Uh, the people we see on the screen are the people of the uh, um, South East Africa, uh, Khoisan, K-H-O-I-S-A-N. Fire control. I think they're like related to like every human on the planet or something like that, they're, like super ancient. Uh, they're really short um, and uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> they would still excel at this because of their unique ability to regenerate stamina by sweating. They would also still retain their unique and powerful ability to throw things, although they could no longer craft high damage items like spears to throw. After a nerf like this, they would no longer hold the record for highest intelligence in the game. Right. That honor would fall to the elephant, followed closely by dolphins and parrots, and then finally back to primates again. Without the ability to control fire or craft clothing, Humans would be limited only to the hotter servers again, due to their lack of fur, leaving the vast majority of the game's resources freed up to be competed for once again. So which builds would dominate this new meta? There's an endless number of things to consider here. The meta right now is completely centralized on humans, to the point where even the Abyssal servers are affected. The easy answer would just be to say that things would revert back to how they were before humans rose to dominance, and in some cases, it's certainly true. For example, builds which are griefed in order to acquire the rare drop ivory wouldn't have to worry about their the rare bro you oh this man called it the rare drop worst matchup anymore. But I don't think simply predicting a reversion to patch 1.3.6 would quite capture the full story. First of all, the climate has changed a lot since the Ice Age, and second, there are a lot of builds that are at a distinct advantage because of how overinflated their populations are, how plentiful their food source is, or how easily they could conquer the mostly vacant city biomes left behind by the now nomadic humans. There are also builds that have essentially been playing on easy mode because of humans, and would now have to actually change up their playstyle and learn how to play the game competitively again. A few quick examples of this. Cockroaches, while they do have many impressive resistance abilities, like radiation and toxin resistance, are actually very weak to the cold. They'd likely need to follow the humans back to warmer servers again, since the artifact- Or how about not follow us? I'm just gonna be honest. Cockroaches, we don't need you. Official heat is the only thing allowing them to persist in areas where it snows. Oh. Oh. Rats would also likely experience a drop in popularity because cities would no longer be protected from threats like snakes. Popularity. And without humans to feed them, cats would also have to step up their game. Arguably the most carried builds in the game are Yoink. seabirds. While they were perfectly capable of surviving on their own due to the dominant matchup they have against fish, they've lost many of their abilities because uh, looting garbage dumps barges. turned out to be better XP per hour. Without humans constantly putting free loot on their plates every day, many of these bird players would be completely lost. Even if they did know how to hunt for themselves, the ratio of fish to birds is too low to support the vastly inflated player base that they have. So you'd for sure see a sharp decline in their numbers following a balance patch like this. I'm gonna be honest, I don't mind it. Uh, these sea rats 
No, no, no. Don't but in mind. my opinion, the direction that the core meta takes hinges upon how the livestock player base adapts. Okay. Of all the domesticated builds, there are only yeah, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They absolutely would not adapt very well because, I mean, there are too many of them. Uh, they would absolutely dominate, and they're really not predators. I would predict have the best chance at rising to dominance. The first of which is the cattle. Cattle have a huge population advantage with this scenario, with an active player base of over a billion. With their astoundingly high base power stat and equally impressive HP level, there's a very real possibility that cattle will be more viable in the wild than some of the current herbivore builds like deer and elk. It's tough to imagine the current top tier predators having a good matchup against cattle. I could be horribly wrong and cattle could get absolutely bodied once human mains are no longer protecting them. But in my opinion, the fences that they're kept in right now protect other players more than they do the cattle. Not all cattle would succeed after the balance patch. No. Some cattle builds are actually unable to respawn without the assistance of human players. But some, like the Texas Those Longhorn, don't have this issue and would excel in the absence of humans and could crush any players who stand in their way. The only builds I could see not having any issues competing with them would be the semi-aquatic ones like the moose, especially since the moose can arguably match the cattle's base stats too. The second potential breakout class is the horse. Bro, why are these moose fighting in somebody's front yard? Horses are- Because it has to be like Alaska or like Vermont or- Actually already invasive in the American West, having been brought there by humans hoping to use them as a support class. They already are uncontested in the current spot, and without humans to capture and sell them, there aren't many predator builds in the area that could challenge them. That was Their brutal, unique ability bro. to sleep standing up makes stealth-based offensive strategies less effective against them. Bro, I know a couple people who can kind of sleep standing up. So predators would need to spec into more powerful damaging moves to ever pose a real threat. Kind of. The last of the domesticated builds I would bet on would be the pig. Pigs are extremely effective generalists that are both versatile and powerful. I mean, yeah, pigs do have like some of the best stats I've seen. They have no problem the egg, returning yes. to the wilderness. And in instances where it's happened, they devastate casual players because of their ability to dig up burrows. Feral pigs have great matchups against anything within the same weight class as them. Lynx and wolves can't really compete without risking taking serious damage in a fight. However, with humans out of the way, we have to talk about which predator builds would resurface now that humans aren't systematically annihilating them. Predators with good matchups against the pig would start to reclaim their former dominance outside of their territory from present day. Builds from the north, like the grizzly, and builds from the south, like the jaguar, would no doubt become optimal choices in the region again. Lions used to exist on every major server, so it makes sense that they'd jump at any opportunity to regain their former glory. We can't talk about a humanless meta without speculating on what would happen to the current top tier support classes, cats and dogs. Without humans to feed them, they'd need to compete with each other. Personally, I think dogs would probably fare the best. And although, like, depending on the breed, obviously, uh, house cats may also, because of all the rodents that will now kind of be everywhere, they'll live. Dogs do usually beat cats in a 1v1. The cat's ability to climb would grant them an enormous advantage in the city biome. The builds which already perform well in cities would probably continue to do so, and in turn would allow cats to persist as well. However, dogs are no strangers to transitioning from their support role back to pack hunting DPS. This is what happened in the Australian server to create the build we now know as the Dingo. So although plenty of dog mains are carried by humans, the guild as a whole would have no trouble holding onto their high tier spot in the new meta. Now for some good old fashioned speculation. One of the builds Let's I feel go. could absolutely dominate the city meta in the absence of humans is the Bat. The Echolocation bat. is one of the strongest abilities in the game and it would be extremely useful for navigating the tight corridors of abandoned buildings. Carnivorous bats, such as the Cretopterus, would have an easy time picking off mice and rats in the dark, and would have plenty of places to perch out of reach. The last thing worth speculating about is whether or not any intelligence-based builds would rise up and actually start unlocking things on the tech tree. While several builds no. have unlocked the tool use perk, that's only one of the three needed to actually start moving up the tech tree. Yeah, right, and, and I'm telling you right now, I don't think that um, any of the animals are going to be able to ever... Uh, at least in our lifetimes, guys. I mean, they can evolve into something potentially, but I don't think uh, anytime soon. Guys, give it like a million years and then maybe there's another animal that pops up on this planet that has the ability to control fire. Um, agriculture? No. Again, yes or no. Tool use, I think, is probably the easiest one because you can... I think that is... That almost comes natural, right? You're, I'm going to use this to do this, right? Control of fire has been unlocked by certain hawks in Australia, but what? they can't make... What are you talking about? <laughs> what? ...of the tech tree. 
Control of hawks. fire has been unlocked by certain hawks in Australia, but they can't make it themselves. They can only spread it. Okay. Oh, okay. And agriculture has only been unlocked by ants of all things. None have unlocked all three at once aside ants. from humans. Aquatic intelligence builds like the octopus and dolphin probably won't ever yeah, unlock fire more about animals, guys. Ants probably won't either because they are too small to handle it without being in range of its heat. But I suppose it's possible. Parrots and elephants have the best shot, in my opinion, as they both have the ability to pick up items, both have long lifespans, and both are herbivores that would benefit greatly from unlocking agriculture. There is also, of course, the possibility that one of the other simians starts to spec into bipedalism, higher intelligence, and vocal cords to simply copy the human niche. Learning new skills like this isn't easy, but if cool. you watch my channel, I'm betting you enjoy learning things from YouTube. I mean, generally, he, he's uh, we're about to end up getting into like a Skillshare presentation. All right, so here's the thing, guys. Um, I think that if we were nerfed, we would no longer be Apex. Like, I mean, obviously, under no circumstance would we be top dog. Uh, we would basically fall into being hunted. I think we would be hunted by other animals, like, like pretty much on average. We would be on the dinner plate of everything guys and he's not wrong we, we, we definitely would end up going back to like the hotter servers as he says here guys right um that would only make sense because again we're not intelligent enough to clothe ourselves you get what i'm saying here we have no hair right some people have hair all right uh some people have wildly hairy chests and backs they do maybe they'll be better in the cold potentially I don't know. But all right, listen. <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments of the next one of these from him that I should be checking out. And I will get to that as soon as I possibly can. All right. And uh, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.